as we've seen the human race move into a, a need to address the climate crisis, our perspective on how we look at wastewater treatment has changed. Can it be sustainable uh, for the future? What we are doing now will have a, a legacy impact for the next 50 or 60 years. So it's very important for us now to be able to consider technologies which not just address the problems that we've seen today, but what we project into the future. Professionals in the wastewater industry have been focused on SideStream and finding a way to treat it well. We now are giving people the opportunity to come see one in real life, see how simple it is to operate. This is the first one that's been done at full scale and the data that we're seeing is that we've got something that works. We've partnered with Micro-V Technologies to showcase and pilot their biocatalyst media to help us remove uh, nutrients from our SideStream project. Micro-V is a technology company that sits between material science and microbiology to create nature-based solutions that can be applied to industrial processes. The biggest obstacle we face as wastewater engineers is figuring out what our boundary conditions are. It's not just we need to remove the solids and the soluble compounds, but now we're thinking bigger in terms of innovation. We've got nutrients that can be recovered, you've got the water that can be recovered. We've been using the same fundamental design principles for over a hundred years. So there's not a lot of change that goes on. So when you're fundamentally asking people to rethink what they've, they've done and trusted and it's been implemented for over a hundred years, it's quite difficult to do so. One good thing from this nutrient concern is that it's brought the wastewater community together. Wastewater professionals are focused in on side stream treatment and finding proper ways to treat it. The project that we have here at Oraloma is a great example for everyone to come out and take a look at. These systems were not designed for what we're trying to get them to do now. Micro-niche engineering is something that is quite unique to Microvi. Uh, we're the first company to really understand that the microenvironment has such a major impact on the behaviours of organisms. The protection that we provide for microorganisms is created by really understanding the environment they'd like to reside in. So what we call the, the micro-niche environment, the, the environment which is within a few nanometers of their cell wall. Oraloma is known as a leader for testing new technologies and being an innovative agency. I love being part of the team to make a project like this happen. It puts the district on the map, especially an agency of our size, and really advances the research and development that people are doing these days. The side stream process at the Oraloma Sanitary District will remove 44 tons of nutrients each year. Sometimes engineers throw around numbers and they say millions or tens of millions of dollars. But for Oraloma, it took us $1 million to implement this project. That, that's about $20 per customer. And that investment of $20 will help ensure that the bay is healthy for the next generation.